1942, the world was in the midst of one of the most brutal events in human history. Over six million dead Jewish people in what is known as the Holocaust. In that same year, one man's life was changed forever. It was all silence as people listened into Peter Metzler's story, a story of survival. You read it in books and stories and you kind of have, a, you don't, you know how terrible it is, but it, hearing it from someone who was there was very different than reading it. The emotional standpoint was really interesting too. The fear that was caused and um, the sadness. Peter was at the age of seven when the Nazis seized his family, with the exception of him and his mother. For two years, they were in hiding, preventing an ending no one can hope of. Absolutely the fear and the recognition that it was in the hands of my mother. She came up with things. It was in the hand of, hand of uh, the farmers that were willing to risk their own lives to hide us. I mean, I saw all of those things, but the security, of course, was my, my mom. I didn't make the policies to go from one place to another. You know, I was seven, eight years old, so. Being the only survivors of the family, Peter and his mother migrated to the U.S. in 1949, arriving in New York. While it was a better life, that came with a different set of obstacles. The biggest challenge was to learn to speak English. <laughs> you know, I did not speak English. That took a while. A lot of mixed up words, words I didn't know, and some of them that I did know, mispronouncing them, and you know, that kind of, that kind of thing. It took, a, it, 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 it took several years, several years. And still, I mess up sometimes today. I mean, I've been here for 65 years. I became a citizen 60 years ago. And over the years, Metzelar continues to tell his story, being an active member of the Holocaust Center for Humanities Speakers Bureau. And the biggest thing that I always like to emphasize to the young people is to look things up, to use independent thought. Don't just go along with somebody because they said, this person is bad, this religion is bad, this kind of... Look it up, find out for yourself, make your own determination. Now Metzelar says telling these stories has someone who survived the Holocaust emphasizes just how devastating these atrocities were. He says that his goal is not only to educate people on these atrocities, but also to learn from them. In Cascade, Cade Mentor, MTN News.